Hey guys, welcome back to Lux Biz. I'm Tatiana and today I'm going to teach you how to use Helium 10. Helium 10 is a tool that is going to help you facilitate your Amazon product research. So if you're starting an Amazon FBA business and you're looking to source products to private label products and you're not sure which one to pick, this tool is the right thing for you. Back when I started four years ago, there were no tools available, at least not to my knowledge. And so I did everything manually. I had to do some math, I had my calculator open, and, and it, it took a lot of time. And so now there are plenty of tools available. I'm sure you've seen advertisements on YouTube and different people talking about them, and there are just so many options for you. And I find Helium 10 to be one of the best things to help you with product research. Um, it's similar to Jungle Scout, if you've heard of Jungle Scout before, but it does have more features. There are more tools that are gonna help you, not just with the product research, but also as you're selling on Amazon, helping with keyword ranking, um, just so many different things. So I'm gonna hop behind the computer. I'm gonna share with you this tutorial because it's something that you need to visually see. If you have any questions, you can comment in the description for me below. And if you want to check out Helium 10, I'll leave a link in the description for you as well. All right, so I'm on amazon.com right now and I'm about to do some product research. So I'm just gonna type in some sort of random product. Um, let me find something around the house. Let's do pillow case let's see what comes up okay so now if i don't have um the helium 10 extension i would have to go through all of these manually look at these calculate the average selling price go and click on the product and actually scroll down to find the bsr which is the best seller's rank which helps me determine whether this product is doing well or not in this specific category um, so the process is quite lengthy and I find that I can be quite inaccurate as I am a human and my math skills are not always great um, and I make errors. Um, so what I want to do instead is I click on this little extension on my browser called the Helium 10 Chrome extension and I'm going to use the X-Ray Amazon product research. So if you've seen Jungle Scout before, which is also a similar um, tool, you'll find the similarities between the two. However, Helium 10 is much more comprehensive than Jungle Scout. In a way, you'll find out when you see the web app, there are just much many more tools for you to use. Um, but in this case, this looks fairly similar. So you can see here the total revenue, so the average revenue per month. So this is basically the estimated revenue per month for products in, on average, the BSR, the average price, and the average amount of reviews. And they also give me a success score. So the success score of the, is the likelihood of success as zero to five star rating and zero to 100 numeric score. So this doesn't look very high or very promising. I can also see which products are sponsored. So SP means sponsored product, meaning that someone has paid for advertising on Amazon. So usually when I'm doing my product research, I actually don't even include the sponsored products just because I know that their sales are going to be inflated because they're sponsored to be at the top of the search results. So I like to kind of scroll down and, uh, you know, load some more results. What I do like to see here, which is so valuable, is the revenue. This is something you just cannot see if you don't have an extension like this. Um, these extensions, they can pull this data. So they can tell you on average you know, an estimate of how much money this person is making per month in sales based on the BSR, the sales rank, etc. cetera. Um, so here we can see also the reviews, how many reviews this person has. So I like to check this out. I like to look at how many reviews they have and for that number of reviews, how much revenue they're making. So this person's doing an amazing job with only 84 reviews, making $90,000 a month in revenue However, I do see that they are sponsored products. So this skews the results because I don't know how much of this 90,000 per month is revenue, maybe none of it. Maybe they're not making any money, they're spending all of their money on advertising. So I'm just not gonna really include these in my search results. I'm gonna scroll down and look at some other ones here. So I can see quite a few high reviews, 4,000 reviews, 1,000 reviews. Honestly, for my first product, I'm not looking for anything that has really high reviews and high competition because I it's just too challenging and I don't want to make it so much harder on myself than it really needs to be. So for example, this is doing $503,000 per month with a thousand reviews. So they're doing really, really well. Good for them. 
Um, but yeah, this just basically tells me this is not a product category that I am interested in. So this is what the Chrome extension will do and will help you with your research. So if you do find a products, you would click that and it gives you an overview so you don't have to manually look at each and every listing. Now let's head over to the Helium 10 web app. So this is the web app over here. I'm just gonna refresh it. As you can see, there are a lot of different tools. So there's a video that's gonna explain it for you better than I can, but basically I'm gonna summarize some of them. So the black box is to help you with Amazon product research. So it says save time and energy researching every niche in existence on Amazon to find your next perfect product to sell. Use black box to get results in seconds. And we're gonna try this one first, but um, there's also all of these different ones here and there's also keyword trackers So it's gonna help you that when you do have your Amazon listing You know what keywords you should input in order to rank better on Amazon um, and Also magnet is really great for keywords So I'm going to click on black box for right now. Oh, I just go right here and Yeah, there's just so many tools. It's amazing. So this is a really really awesome thing to have if you're just starting your Amazon business and keep in mind too, like this can be, you know, maybe you don't need the web app forever. Maybe you just need the web app while you're doing your Amazon research, right? If you found a product, you don't really have so much use for the web app any, or sorry, the extension anymore, the Chrome extension. So you could, you know, unsubscribe and not pay the monthly fee instead, put the money towards the web app, which is really going to serve you with all these tools when you're building your listing and trying to rank on Amazon. So, this is definitely um, important. So here, what I can do is I can do some product research for a specific marketplace. So say for example, I want to sell in the, uh, let's say the beauty category. And I want, you know, I don't really know a, a minimum maximum monthly revenue, but I do know that I want my minimum selling price to be $19 and I want my max to be about $60. And I'm gonna say the max reviews that I wanna see is 300 reviews. And the rest of the stuff I don't really care about. I'm gonna say standard size for shipping because I'm not looking to source an oversized product. There are more fil filters that I could use um, if I wanna get really specific, but in this case, I'm just gonna keep it broad. And I'm gonna say search. And so this is gonna give me ideas. It's gonna give me ideas for different products that I could potentially source. And it's gonna help me know what the trends are, the sales over the year. It just gives me so, so much information, which is really, really awesome. And you can also export this as a CSV. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda of go through the stuff and see if there's anything here that looks intriguing to me. So I get product ideas like this. So I've now clicked on the Trendster um, app over here. And so basically what this is gonna help you do is going to help you analyze if this is product is a trend and what the, the history is of this product. So when I was initially um, starting my business, one of the products I picked was a 3D fiber mascara. And that product was a trending product, which means that there's a peak but it also dies down and the trend ends. So it's really valuable to know this information ahead of time. So in this example, I've added two different products here. One is a pool float and one is a storage box. I just got the ASIN from the product itself and I'm just gonna click this start trendsetter to see the comparison between the two products. So if I'm gonna pick, you know, which product do I pick? Well, I'm gonna wanna pick a product that's not really a trend. So I can see here the stats, um, I can see that Oh, actually, so it's the opposite. So the storage cubes seem to be doing better at the beginning of the year and this one during the summer months, which makes sense. Here you can see interest over time on Google Trends. You can see that, again, during the summer months, it is trending. And that for the storage box, it's pretty much steady all year round, actually a spike in December. So this looks more reliable to me than this. This tells me that I'll have a peak, but I also am not gonna have very many sales during the winter months. And this tells me that it's gonna be pretty consistent all year long. So awesome information to have. The next tool that I'm gonna share with you is this magnet. This is so amazing, I love this. So let's put in, for example, our pool float. So you put in the keyword for the product, you select the marketplace and you say search. And this is really going to help you find those keywords that you probably wouldn't have otherwise thought of, some unique searches. So the first thing you see here is the exact volume per month. 
um, you see how many searches there are and you see how many competing products. Here you see the top three products um, on Amazon and you can even click the product to open it up on Amazon itself if you wanna check out the listing. Then you can see here all of the different words that people use when searching pool floats. So they search adults, they search kids, they search duck, lounger, lounge, toy. So it gives you a lot of different information. So then you can see here the long tail phrase keywords. So these are things that you'd be inserting into your um, Amazon listing if applicable. And then you can also um, look at all this information. So the magnet IQ score is basically going to tell you um, how good this product is. Basically going to show you how much search volume there is compared to competition. So the higher the IQ score, the better for you. The lower IQ score, the more competition there is for the search term. So this term, in-text wishing well pool, may not be applicable to me if I'm selling a pool float. But perhaps... Wow, these are very specific keywords. Perhaps I could do, you know, inflatable pool in warehouse deals, certain things like this, like pool fluties with a spelling mistake. So people make spelling mistakes. That's a valuable keyword that you could now have and you could rank for at a very low cost. Pool basketball hoop. So it provides you with a lot of really good information. Then what you could do is you could search exact phrases or you could search broad phrases and it just gives you um, a lot of different data. So you can see here how many searches per month and so you know what keywords to be ranking for and how to write your title and how to write your description and bullet points. I don't want to go into every single one of these different options because there are many and it would take up really a lot of time since we're already 11 minutes into this um, but basically this is you know it's going to give you an overview of what it is um, index checker figure out which of their back-end and front-end keyword search terms are being indexed by Amazon and which ones are not so this is super valuable for when you're writing your listing um, Cerebro is enter in a product ASIN and within seconds you'll receive hundreds, maybe thousands of keyword suggestions. So lots of great stuff here. So this is definitely super comprehensive. It gives you really everything you need once you are ready to set up your Amazon Seller Central account, then you could purchase the web app. Um, but for starters, you could just start with the Chrome extension uh, when you're doing your product research and that way you could save some money. And then once you're done with product research, you could then get the uh, Chrome uh, web app once you actually have an Amazon seller account, you're actually starting creating your Amazon listing. It's gonna be more applicable to you at that time. So if you have any questions, please do comment below. I'll link the Helium 10 for you in the description box if you're interested. Bye guys.